And welcome back in today's community conversation. Lauren Messia Cervantes with TechSat is back with us to talk about two road projects, one in West El Paso and the other on the far east side. Now, Lauren, I want to start with the Mesa project first, especially since a lot of us here that come to work, we get yes. stuck in it, especially when we're leaving. Yes, there are actually three projects on Mesa. Uh, two of them are, a one's a lighting, one's a signal project. Mm -hmm. You talked about that already, but we're going to start right outside the studio with the mill in inlay project that many of you have probably seen if you uh, have been on the west side. It's the rehabilitation project along North Mesa. This has crews working on both north and southbound lanes from Camille to uh, almost Rustler. Uh, they started milling last week. They're taking off six inches off the road way and tomorrow we'll start paving. Now the operation as you can see here closed some lanes but traffic was still open so it was down to uh, one lane and then once crews were finishing up they'd open up the additional area. There is still access to businesses during this time and as you can see there's a lot going on so while this uh, project is in progress uh, you want to be careful around the area now this project has two sections Yandale to Baltimore and Sunland Park Drive to Donovan it did start last fall and the estimated completion date is summer 2025 but the current paving is expected to be finished the week of June 10th again some things to remember plan some extra travel time again you see our crews here watch for them watch for changes on the roadway because of course this is uh, different phases so first you'll have the milling which means the roads gonna feel a little bit different there's no striping um, it's going to be a different ride, uh, so you definitely want to pay attention to those changes. We do know that Mesa is a high-traveled uh, roadway. It's These closures are high impact, so you will see crews working day and night. Now, this work also includes driveways, so we are working closely with businesses to coordinate that work. And as you um, saw in that video, when we pass through intersections, you want to, you know, you might be waiting a bit while the process goes through that area. And I was joking with Lauren saying that it feels like you're off-roading because it's so bumpy. Well, you <laughs> shouldn't be speeding and that's something that people need to keep in mind is that in Slow a construction down. zone, the speed limit uh, goes down and there's additional uh, things that you encounter. You should always, you know, be uh, driving to what the speed limit is mm -hmm. or below it, but um, there's workers, there's equipment, there's changes in configuration, yes. changes in the roadway. As we see with this milling, it mm -hmm. feels different, right? And so people need to pay attention. So to I that. know that we've spoken about the I-10 Whitening West project, but that's not the only project that is happening with the Whitening West. The, that's whining. So there's one in the far east side as well. Yes. Yeah, so our Purple Heart Memorial Highway uh, that is uh, going from four to six lanes. This is from Spur 601 to Montana and started in September of 2022. And we stayed out of the way for a bit. But now drivers are seeing that impact. And that's because they're now uh, working on that median to add that future, those future lanes. We're seeing a lane closure um, for material hauling as crews, again, have been working in the median for those future uh, main lanes. This project does add a lane in each direction. So we're going from four to six with 10 foot shoulders. We're also adding a two lane frontage road with uh, four foot shoulders and 12, uh, 12 foot hike and bike trail on the southbound side. Now the main lanes are also taking shape and you can see here the crews. This is the work that you don't see, right? Because yes. it's, it's below ground, um, you can see the, the, the traffic traveling on top, but they're working on retaining walls here um, because um, that area will hold the uh, future main And lanes. for those who want to you know, know more about the projects and foreclosures, where can they head to? Sure, there's a, a few places they can get go to. I'll always go to our X or Facebook page. Uh, Text.com, uh, sorry, text.gov also has our closures. They're updated on a weekly basis. And if you want all the closures straight to your inbox, register for our service at drivetexas.org. Well, thank you for joining us again, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week. And if you want to see a full list of closures, we also do have them on our website at kfoxtv.com. Just click on that traffic tab.
We'll see you next Tuesday. Yes, and drive safe.